नमस्ते टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ जेवी डॉक्टर खुशबू वर्मा फ्रॉम फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटरनरी साइंस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ओ जेनेसिस व्हिच इज फीमेल गैमेटोन जेनेसिस इट विल क्रिएट एग इनटू फीमेल ऑर्गन सो ओ जेनेसिस डिफर्स फ्रॉम द स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस इन दैट इट बिगन्स इन द फीटस प्रीयर टू बर्थ Primordial germ cells, which originate in the yolk sac of the embryo, move to colonize the cortex of the primordial gonad and replicate by mitosis to peak approximately at uh, seven million by mid gestation. Means approximately it will take twenty weeks. Cell death occurs with after this peak to lead to million cells, which begins meiosis one before birth and are known as primary oocytes. therefore a human female is born uh, with approximately 2 million primary oocytes arrested in meiosis and these make up a finite supply of potential ova the primary oocytes are arranged in the gonad in clusters surrounded by flattened epithelial cells called follicular cells and these form primordial follicles the primary oocytes are arrested in prophase stages of meiosis one during childhood further astesia occurs leaving approximately 40000 egg at puberty when puberty begins a number of primary oocytes 15 to 20 begins to mature each month although uh, although only one of these reaches full maturation to become an oocyte the primary oocytes undergo into the three stages pre antral antral and preo pre ovulatory in the pre antral stage the primary oocytes grow dramatically wireless still being arrested in meiosis 1 in the antral stage fluid filled spaces be from uh, form between uh, granulosa cells and these eventually combine together to form a central fluid filled space called the antrum the follicles are now called secondary follicles Uh, in the pre-ovulatory stage, the LH surge induces this stage, and meiosis one is now complete. Two haploid cells are formed within the follicle, but they are of unequal size. One of the daughter cells receives far less cytoplasm than the other, and form the first polar body, which will not go on to form an ovum. The other haploid cell. is known as the secondary oocyte both daughter cells then undergo meiosis second the first polar body will replicate to do give two polar bodies but the secondary oocyte arrest in metaphase of meiosis second three hours prior to ovulation in the ovulation process the follicle has grown in the size and is now mature it is called graffin follicle the ls surge increases collagenase activity so that the follicular wall is weakened and this combined with muscular contractions of the ovarian wall result in the ovum being released from the ovary and being taken up into the fallopian tube via the fimbriage which is finger like projections on the fallopian tube next one is the fertilization process so the secondary oocyte will only complete meiosis second on fertilization giving off a third polar body once meiosis second is completed and a fertilized egg if fertilization never occurs the oocyte degenerates 24 hours after ovulation remaining arrested in meiosis second the if the egg is fertilized however the peristaltic movement of the fallopian tube move the egg to the uterus where it can implant into the posterior uterine wall here you can simply see the flow chart in which primary oocyte will commencing for the maturation then it will create secondary oocyte and uh, first polar body first polar body will further create More polar bodies and secondary oocyte will create mature ova along with a one polar body. So this is the sum up of this session, and this session is powered by Digital Version 2.0, Jyoti Vidya Peet Women's University, Jaipur. If you have any query, then mention in the comment box. I will resolve it. Thank you.